against Federico Thompson. Perret has won 46 times, winning, uh, rather has fought 46 times, winning 33, losing 10 and fighting three draws. He also has KO'd nine. Perret and Griffith have several similarities. Each is five feet seven and a half. Each is one of eight children and both had trouble making the title weight today. Perret coming in at 146 and Griffith right on the nose at 147. In just a few minutes, a 15-round welterweight championship fight between Emil Griffith and Benny Kid Ferret will get underway. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the pleasing Bronx lightweight KO Jackie Donnelly last week, Paolo Rossi. Former junior welterweight king, Carlos Ortiz. Undefeated, light heavyweight from the west side, anxious to meet any heavyweight in the world, Doug Jones, Doug Jones. One of the greatest of all featherweight champions, Willie Pep. <laughs> Next boxing show here, ladies and gentlemen, two weeks from tonight, Bruno Vicentin will meet the popular Argentine welterweight contender, here he is, Jorge Fernandez. Another former featherweight champion in this corner here, now the chief inspector on the New York State Athletic Commission, Petey Scalzo. And here's one of the greatest, the former lightweight, junior welterweight, and welterweight king and hero of Ronald Canal, the one and only, Bonnie Ross. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here are the ring officials assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. The judges, Tony Castellano, Arnie Idala, timekeeper George Bannon, counting for the knockdowns will be referee Joe Lascalzo, and the referee for the main event, Al Burrow. Fifteen rounds for the Welterweight Championship of the World at Stake. Introducing from Santa Clara, Cuba, weighing 146, the former Welterweight King, Benny Kid Paret. His opponent wearing the black trunks, weighing 147, the Welterweight Champion of the World, Amor Griffith. Fifteen rounds with the welterweight title at stake. Enthusiastic crowd, here's Al Burrow. Well, folks, you've been in Boston, New York before, you know the rule. This being the championship fight, the eight counts, and the three knockdowns in one round are waived. I want you to break clean and clinch it. When I tell you to step back, step back yourself. I want a good, clean fight, and good luck to both of you. Shake hands now and come out of Emil Griffith and the black trunks on the left, the champion, and Benny Kidd at the challenger on the right, from whom he took the crown. Round one, scheduled for 15. Perret, you know, is a bouncy fighter with a lot of heart. Emil Griffith has been told to keep his hands up and his chin down. He's doing it for the moment. Last time out, Perret weighed uh, 146 and a half. He's a half pound lighter now. And his opponent, Emil Griffith, weighed 145 and a half. He's a pound and a half heavier, right on the welterweight limit. Griffith has never gone 15 rounds. Perret has gone twice with Federico Thompson and Don Jordan. He won both of them. Perret keeps up on his toes most of the time. Griffith on his toes, except when he wants to hit hard, then he goes flat on his feet. Both boys are noted for good combination punching.
Very good official in there, Al Burrell. Each is showing a lot of respect for the other at the moment. One minute to go in round one. Each has a highly partisan uh, following in the gallery and on the floor here at the garden. Fred has been working the body a lot more than has Griffith and has been effective in there. champion, Emil Griffith, Black Trunks, challenger, Benny Kidd for red and white. Schedule for 15, Al Burrell, the referee. Each camp its own plan of campaign. Two minutes left in this round. Barrett scored to the body, Griffith to the head in that exchange. Now Griffith is starting to head a little bit harder. You'll notice about Perrette, if he gets to be hurt at any time, he'll fight back harder. And sometimes does his best work with his back to the ropes. About a minute left in this round. Griffith is starting to get his elbows down to block that body punching. Of course, that's going to leave the head open. They're not tied up, so Al Burl is letting them fight. Now they're tied. Oh, they're loose again. And there's the bell ending round two. So let's go back to the corner of the welterweight champion, Emil Griffith. Facing him in the center is his trainer and co-manager, Gil Clancy, the former boxing coach at Strathmore Vanderbilt. On the outside, a veteran handler, Sid Martin, just uh, moving in there, one of the best in the business. And on the right-hand side on the outside, Howard Albert, a former Melano, or present Melano, rather, 
who uh, discovered Emil and got uh, Clancy to handle him. On the other side of the ring, we have the challenger, Benny Kid Perret. On the outside, leaning in over him is Johnny Sula, one of his handlers. On the left-hand side, his manager, Manny Alfaro, who speaks English. Benny himself doesn't. And facing the uh, challenger is the third man in the corner, Jose Torriera. The warning buzzer has sounded for round three of a 15-round scheduled Wellaway Championship bout at Madison Square Garden. Emil Griffith, black trunks, there's the bell. Benny Kid for red and white. Crowd is highly vocal. Less than two minutes to go in round three. As you saw, Griffith has scored cleanly and heavily to the head. Griffith just got in a good right hand, or rather Perrette uh, threw that overhand right. One minute to go in round three. Seconds to go in round three. There's the bell. Coming up to round four at Madison Square Garden. Emil Griffith, black trunks, Benny Kid for red and white. Scheduled for 15 rounds for the Wellerweight Championship. Notice Griffith uh, have such a tendency to fight in close before. Maybe that's the plan of campaign.
Round four about half over. The action has been steady but not spectacular so far. almost over. There's the bell. Let's take a quick look at Benny Kipperet. He got it going over, but he was fighting back there towards the end of the round. Incidentally, there was talk uh, that this morning, about an hour before the weigh-in, each boy weighed 148 pounds, a pound over the welterweight limit. And since Griffith uh, came in at 147 and Ferretta 146, if that is so, they had to do some working out this morning. Here's round five, champion Emil Griffith in the black trunks, challenger, and former champion Benny Kidferet in white. There seems to be a slight cut below, well below the left eye of Benny Perrette. Probably a slight abrasion. One minute to go in round five. Good shot in there by Perret, another.
10 seconds to go in round five. These are good fighters, you're saying. <laughs> round six, Madison Square Garden. Champion Emil Griffith, Black Trunks, challenger Benny Kidd for red and white. 15 rounds. Schedule. Benny Kid Barrett is getting a bit puffy around the left eye. About goes far enough, it could close up on him. At the moment, Barrett seems to be beating Griffith to the punch. Two minutes left in this round. <laughs> Each looking for a better hold. There's a minute left in round six. Griffith and Black, Perrette and White Trump. Griffith the champion. Referee Al Pearl talking to Benny Kid Perrette about a little too much head work. Puffiness continues to grow around the left eye of Benny Kid Perret. And there are two minutes left in round seven. Scheduled for 15. Must be a Spanish Italian in the audience. He yelled Alabanza to Perret. One 
minute to go in round seven. Griffith did the beating to the punch. Photographers leaning in for a good picture. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in round seven. Madison Square Garden, Emil Griffith, Black Trump, Benny Kitt for red and white, Al Burrell, the referee. left in round eight. That big right hand by Perret roused uh, Griffith out of his lethargy and he went to work. About 30 seconds left in this round. seconds of the 13th round. To me, it looks as though both fighters are in better shape tonight. Perret looks a great deal better than he looked that night down in Miami, and Emil Griffith has become a more mature fighter. He has uh, been a good fighter all along, but now he seems to know how to fight more. There is uh, some of the distinguished audience here at Madison Square Garden who have turned out on this Saturday night to see this welterweight championship fight.
Coming up to round nine now. There's the bell, Emil Griffith, Black Trunks, Benny Kid Perrette, the challenger in white. Plenty of time to, for either man to win by a decision or a knockout. are lightning fast. Just doesn't seem to carry the potency of Griffith's punches. Sometimes he hits more often. A trickle of blood beside the left eye of uh, Benny Kid Barrett and the puffiness around it continues. for the Welderweight Championship. Champion Emil Griffith in black trunks. Benny Kid Perrin, ex-champion and challenger in white. And I'd say it's a pretty close fight. in this round.
second left in this round as the pace slows down, understandably, because it's been very tired. as he did down in Miami. Gil Clancy is talking to him. Now on the other side of the ring, Benny Kid Perret, seemingly rejuvenated after a very slow beginning in which uh, Griffith had him in trouble several times. But uh, as is his bouncy nature, he comes bouncing back, this boy uh, Benny Kid Perret from Santa Clara, Cuba. at this point after 10 rounds and we're coming up now to round 11 of a 15 round of Madison Square Garden the bell Emil Griffith in black trunks Benny Kidd for red and white has done his best work against the ropes. to go in round 11. Now Griffith is coming on again.
round 12. Madison Square Garden, the bell has sounded. Champion Emil Griffith, the Wallaway champion, the black trunks. Ex-champion and challenger Benny Kidd for red and white. Both boys now living in New York City. Griffith came from the Virgin Islands and Perrette from Santa Clara, Cuba. No knockdowns in the fight. Griffith's tactics are plain to see. He's just smothering Perrette whenever he can. Perrette, however, who lost, been the one who lost the crown in uh, April. There's the bell ending round 12. Benny Kid Perrette back to his corner. Jose Torriera taking the mouthpiece out. On this wide shot of the garden, we can give you a few thoughts on the bout. The, the rounds which we thought Griffith won, we thought he won by a big margin, but there were other rounds in which uh, Benny Kidd Perrette did the winning, and uh, other rounds which could be a toss-up. So I figure it's still anybody's bout at the end of round 12, with rounds 13, 14, and 15 yet to come. A nice pack is being applied to the left eye of Emil Griffith. There are more than and 6,000 paid customers in the garden tonight paying more than $20,000. Griffith, the black trunks, the white trunks are worn by Perrette. It was in the 13th round that Griffith won the crown from Perrette by a knockout in April 1st, on April 1st in Miami Beach. Al Burrell, the referee. left in this round. 
Round 13, scheduled for 15. publicity director for boxing points out that this is the longest that Emil Griffith has ever gone in a fight. He beat uh, Barrett Perrette in one minute and 11 seconds of the 13th round and he's gone almost two minutes of the round now. Perrette has a cheering section which is trying to root him home with one minute to go in round 13. Perrette was going into one of his flurries and he kept sidestepping to keep him off the pace and off his timing. Griffith has done his best scoring in this identical spot all night, just holding Perrette against the ropes. seconds to go in round 13. Griffith ran into a short right there and had power up his <laughs> Round 14, both fighters dripping and oozing perspiration. Benny Kid Perrette, the white trunks, Emil Griffith and Black. in the fight and there are two minutes left in round 14. Neither boy has been badly hurt. Punches got in there.
114. A quick look at both fighters before the final round. Benny Alfaro is a, a pretty good shield for Benny Kiparet. He's his manager. Johnny Sula working on him on the outside, and Jose Tortiera from the inside. Perret speaks no English, but his uh, manager, Manny Alfaro, speaks good English and good Spanish. On the other side of the ring, we have Emil Griffith, still getting the ice pack from Howie Albert over the left eye. Sid Martin wiping him off there, and uh, Gil Clancy talking to him and telling him this is the big round and the crown might be on the line. goes out to the center of the ring. They'll touch gloves for the 15th and final round. There's the bell. Emil Griffith in black. Benny Kid Perret in white. Griffith the champion. And now Griffith is also puffy around the right eye. Perret is puffy around the left. a grueling fight. <laughs> Two minutes left in this 15th and final round. But no knockdowns. Correct <laughs> bleeding below the left eye. If it goes to a decision, about half the crowd is going to be satisfied and the other half isn't, so you'll hear a lot of booing, no matter who wins. If it should turn out to be a draw, Griffith will still be the champion. Scoring in New York on a round basis with a supplementary point system. Seconds left in the fight. Judges Artie Idella and Tony Castellani, the officials of the New York State Athletic Commission, Jack Duberstein, Frank Morris, Joe Alpern, Dan Dowd, all checking over there. The card from uh, Al Burrow hadn't been corrected, collected yet. Johnny's got it now. It was a hard, grueling fight all the way, no question about that. Each corner probably has a little doubts about the outcome.
We're still waiting for the card. It's a 15 round bout. Scoring here in New York is on a round basis, as we told you, with a supplementary point system in case the rounds come out even on an official card. Emil Griffith, to my left, or behind me, is the well-away champion of the world, or at least he was, till the bell rang, ending the 15th round. He may still be. We're waiting for Johnny Addy to come in. Benny Kidparet, the challenger. Now, here's Johnny. Judge Tony Castellano. Eight, six, one even, correct. Congratulations, and Danny uh, and Caballero Valiente. Thank you, Caballero. Un saludo, amigo, Miami. Tito. That was uh, Jose Torriola, and uh, this is Manny Alfaro. Thank you very much, both of you. I want to say hello to my wife. Saludo a mi familia, mi hermana, mi cuñado, y a todos ahí. Bad English, Manny. I want to say hello to my wife, to my, my sister, my brother-in-law, my son, and every one of my family in Miami, Florida. Thank you very much, Manny.